Yo, what up everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. If you've ever wondered what inside of a homeless encampment looks like, this is the video for you. Now, Miriam, which is a person that I interviewed not too long ago, so I'll link her interview in the video or it'll probably be in the description. So if you wanna go check it out, you can check it out. But this one is a good one. She's allowed me to record inside of her homeless encampment. You get to see all her stuff, how the setup is, how it actually looks in there, if it's clean, if it's dirty. You get a full perspective on what actually goes on in there and actually how it looks. Thank you again, Miriam, for allowing me to record inside this encampment. Stay for the whole thing because I have a quick update on what's actually going on with her. So uh, without further ado, let's start the video now. Here, this is the setup. There's a lot going on in here. She's got her little sink, toothbrush, toothpaste area, you know, utensils. This is where she sleeps, right here down right here we got a little mirror up here she likes DC comics for sure it's a really cool Atari hat the Holy Bible Got an accordion, got a globe, some skateboards, a lot of her stuff, a lot of trinkets. Nice looking flute. Oh, look at this Star Wars. I go right out here. A lot of things. I think you left it out. Oh, it's right there, next to the drum outside. Yeah, I can charge that. Can we take five out for 15 on that? Uh, five? Yeah, I can for five, I'm gonna have to get you to charge some other things. What? How about... How about you give me everything you need to charge and we call it? Um, I'd rather have the sunglasses. I can charge my stuff, I just don't want to go to uh, the clinic and spend all day there. Um, charge my stuff. I can charge stuff at the clinic. Oh. Um, I just have to sit there all day. Yeah. But I guess... Um, this should be charged shortly. Do you have them? I don't. Discredit you if you 
basically could bankrupt them and have foreign nations cut their funding. Especially if they somehow lost or harmed a child that was never sick by claiming the child was sick but never testing it. And if that child may have... Oh, wait, you said you had a son, right? I have four children. Four children. Which I'm estranged from due to um, two of them being kidnapped in a country I was only visiting. Are they still there? Um, I'm sure I haven't been informed but I have talked to many people about hopefully rescuing them so um, I can sense when they're not good and when they are good so there's that much which also makes one ponder do they target the children of holy lineages maybe to manipulate that soul tie which kind of what ended up happening here that was profound was Considering that some people have possibly known things about me since I was young. And that there is a dynamic of people, possibly because of my great-grandmother surviving the Holocaust or something else, that have you know, not only targeted me since I was small to sort of feed on that energetic, but also to, uh, it's interesting, it's deep, but also has possibly targeted my family since the Holocaust, four generations of women, keeping them from their full potential, yeah, because should they, you know, basically what I think is that if anyone survived the Holocaust, they survived by miracles. And um, maybe even resurrected. I know I prayed when I thought my son was dying really hard. And I thought, from what I could sense, that he may have resurrected. You know, but they knew something. Um, and as I follow the patterns People have known since, since I was a teenager, maybe since I was a small child. You get cut off, not from life, but to the point that all you have is God to see what the benefit of that is. Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. You know what happened to Miriam? Miriam, who's Miriam? The lady that was there with the big tent, with all the bikes and stuff. I know that one, man. She's not the old lady, is she? Yeah. The old lady? Mm-hmm. Dude, do you know her? Yeah, I know her. I know where she went. She dressed up really nice yeah, last her. time. But they bugged her, the tent, and I tried to get her back, but I wasn't there that night. And she, uh, this girl was, like, beating her from outside the tent. And she has all, like... Grandmother shouldn't be treated like that, man. Older people have respect for her, man. Don't do that in front of me, man. Okay. Yeah. Guess not. Huh? Do you know what happened to Miriam? The older lady right there that dresses really nice? In the oh, she's where? In the orphanage. In the Took orphanage? Back to the orphanage. Well, why? Because she was a psycho hell fucking demon child from hell. Oh. So they just moved her in her tent? Uh, everything. About... Miriam is gone. Oh. She chased the cops with a butcher knife and some other dumbass with a butcher knife, so they took her away. Okay. And this was just last week? Yeah, like about probably 10 days now, probably. Okay, thank you. All right. Wow. Yeah, all gone. Miriam's all gone. Done, I'll be the people stood up for her. Mm -hmm. But then that night that we ran around, man, she had to be next to somebody safer, you know? Just found out that Miriam was in an altercation with another homeless uh, person. And she ended up, uh, I guess the other person grabbed her phone and threw it. This is the stories that I'm gathering from everybody that saw the incident. And uh, they grabbed her phone, threw it off, and then uh, she got really angry, chased them with a butcher knife or something like that. and. Uh, threatening to uh, pretty much stab them and 
I guess the officials here in this restaurant or the people that work here ended up calling the police officers and they came and they tried to like you know restrain her but then she ended up attacking the police with the knife as well so now here she's been taken to a shelter and her entire uh, encampment and everything that was in it all the stuff that i was showing you has uh, been pretty much thrown away thrown uh thrown to the dumpsters and she's actually in a in a shelter right now so i'm not sure when she'll be back maybe never but that is the update on what's going on with miriam i you know i came around i hung out with miriam a few times you know just to talk just to get her you know to feel that somebody's like on her side a little bit i ended up going to utah and by the time i got back she was already gone so that's the story uh, i thought i'd just do an update and uh yeah if you like the video feel free to subscribe got some more coming you guys be safe out there and remember just be respectful towards your neighbor because you never know what it might turn into especially if you're in a situation as far as being homeless in the same area all right until next time i'll see you guys again have a great day peace